Cars will be entirely defined by the software. The car for me in the future, it's, this is hopefully still a nice car, but on top of that, it will be a platform for services, like a mobile phone today. And if you want to supply services, you have to have um, a foundation. We call that the operating system and the middleware. And that's exactly what Apex AI is doing. The primary challenge our customers face is the efficient development of modern software for mobility systems. A lot of the future innovation in mobility is driven by software. So our customers, which are historically not software-focused companies, now need to develop their innovation in software. So what we then bring to the table and to our customers is how to do efficient and modern software development such that the complexity of software and thereby the complexity of their development doesn't increase, but they are able to manage software development and launch products to the market that are safe and reliable and based on software. The main difference between Apex and the traditional car maker is the culture. The traditional car maker is optimized on building cars and with a very predefined project flow, while Apex is agile. So they develop software uh, and that's the only thing they do and they have a startup mentality, so it's a total different thing. I believe they're much better set up than the traditional car maker to develop software. Over the past five years uh, of the company, we have built a reputation of de delivering safe and reliable and uh, efficient software to our customers. So we attend a lot of conferences, we publish white papers, and we publish open source software. So our customers reach out to us. Uh, we then typically get into a workshop in which the customers outline the challenges they are facing with respect to efficient software development for their products. Uh, we then educate them what our products can do and how our products help our customers. Then we define a short project, a POC, a proof of concept, in which we then together develop a solution for one specific problem. And from there on, pro the project typically grows. And at some point, we then go into product development and launch a product together. Apex AI offers two products. One is called Apex OS, the other one Apex Middleware. Apex OS is a proprietary fork of an open source framework ROS, stands for Robot Operating System, and essentially allows developers in automotive but also non-automotive sector to develop applications for their cars, robots, and other vehicles. The three major factors that we need to factor in when developing software in this new era of mobility are chip shortage, really highly skilled software developers, and tools and best practices coming from the cloud native development. Uh, we've simplified physical architecture in the car, but we have now made the software architecture more complex. There's lots of change. Uh, in the past, we all had a car. Um, this will change. We will use cars differently. Uh, we will share cars. So we will use digital services around uh, mobility. And so it's important to have a good operating system in the car. Germany is leading in vehicle manufacturing in the world. And I think we should do everything we can in Germany to also stay leading in these new technologies. And that's why I'm so glad. And that's why I'm also engaged with Apex, because Apex is kind of like a German-US venture. And with our relationships and investment of German suppliers and OEMs, I think Apex can play exactly that role. We are aiming to go into development for series production later this year with our first customer. In five years, we will have the first vehicles running Apex OS in production on the road. In 10 years, we will have expanded into new industries, such as aerospace or industrial robotics. I do think in 20 years, we will be for the mobility industry what Android is for the mobile industry today, the predominant uh, operating system. <laughs>